Hello, and welcome to Children's Sunday School for Sunday, February the 28th for Second Presbyterian Church. My name is Elizabeth Blank, and today's Bible story is about the rich young man. Have you ever had to do something that was really, really hard? Maybe you had to go somewhere where you didn't want to go. Or maybe you had to share something with someone and you didn't really want to do that. Today's Bible story is about a young man who was asked to do something that was really hard. A rich man asked Jesus, what do I have to do so that I can live forever with God? You know what the commandments are, Jesus said. Respect those you love, don't kill people, don't steal things that don't belong to you, don't tell lies, listen to your parents. I've obeyed these commandments since I was a little boy, said the man. But Jesus told him, there's something else. Go and sell everything you have. Give the money to the poor. The man couldn't believe what Jesus told him. He was sad because he was very rich. This meant he had to give away a lot of things. He knew that would be very hard to do. Jesus saw that the man was sad. He said, it is harder for rich people to live forever with God. People who heard Jesus say this asked him, if it is hard for rich people, then who can live forever with God? God can do things humans can't, said Jesus. If you give up something for God, you will get things back. Most of all, you will get to live forever with God. Sometimes we have to do things that are really hard. Remember that God can help you do anything. What would you do if Jesus asked you to give all your things to poor people? What are some of the things you think that the rich young man had to give away? What are some things you need help with? How can you ask God to help you with them? Hi, I'm Miss Dana. And today, I want to take just a few moments to put ourselves in our story. How would you respond if Jesus asked you to give away all of your things? We created a chart to help us think about the things that we really need and the things that we could live without. Lydia, can you talk to us about the things we really need? Mm -hmm. We really need food. And we need home, we need family, and friends, and God. Thank you. And Anna, can you talk to us about the things we can live without? We can live without toys. We can live without candy, even though it's like food, we still don't really need it. And then we can live without clothes because they can get us in big trouble if you do something bad on it. And then we can live without TV because it can make your eyes hurt. And we can live without Starbucks because it's like candy, so we don't really need it. Thank you. Would it be easy for you to give up some of the things on the right side of our chart? Why? What about the things on the left? Can you imagine living without the things we really need? How can people who have more on both sides help those who have less? This is Mama and this is RC. Hi everybody. This is our music for Sunday School this week at Second Presbyterian Church. We're going to be learning the hymn number 415, Come Ye Sinners, Poor and Needy. R.C., are you ready to say the words? Yes! And this relates to our lesson about the rich man and Jesus and following all that we have, leaving all that we have to follow Jesus. I will arise, 
I will arise. And go to Jesus. And go to Jesus. He will embrace me. He will embrace me. In his arms. In his arms. In the arms. In the arms. Of my dear Savior. Of my dear Savior. Oh, there are. Oh, there are. Ten thousand charms. Ten thousand charms. Good. And here's our verse. Come, ye sinners. Come, ye sinners. Poor and needy. Poor and needy. Weak and wounded. Weak and wounded. Sick and sore. Sick and sore. Jesus ready. Jesus ready. Stands to save you. Stands to save you. Full of pity. So full of pity. Love and power. Love and power. And then we will also focus on this verse. Come ye weary. Come ye weary. Heavy laden. Heavy laden. Lost and ruined. Lost and ruined. By the fall. By the fall. If you tarry. If you tarry. tarry till you're better. Till you're better. You will never. You'll never. Come at all. Come at all. Good job. All right, Chrissy, let's sing those notes back, okay? Here's our chorus oh. first. And you will sing it back to me, right? Uh -huh. I will arise. on the second one. Yeah. Come ye weary. Come 